I don't even call myself a conspiracy theorist, but if you believe as I do that if you're a large investor and yep. you know that you need to buy a big old chunk of something, what is the oldest trick on Wall Street? What do you do, right? If you want to buy a lot of something, you actually sell it. You actually spread Correct. rumors that it's lousy and you push the price down. I mean, you know, Dwight Anderson used to work for Julian Robertson. He tells this story all the time. They wanted to buy a big position in copper. And he's like, all right, Julian, here's my, my report on, on copper. Let's, let's go buy it. And Julian's like, yeah. are you joking? We'll sell 50 million copper. And then you tell people that we're selling copper because I want to buy more than 50 million of copper. I want to buy a lot of copper. And yeah. Soros would do the same thing. And I mean, so BlackRock knew that they were going to have to buy a bunch. Perhaps they were the ones telling people to sell. Bitcoin is making new highs as it touched the $73,000 level earlier in the day. But at the time of writing, it dropped just a shade below 73K as it trades for $72,979. As the investing world watches Bitcoin climb, there is a scramble to get the flagship cryptocurrency. In an interview with The Dales Report, investor Mark Yusko explained that the institutions can't pull the same tricks that worked with gold and other commodities. Yusko detailed how the institutions are accustomed to futures contracts, which allow them to profit off of a commodity without actually acquiring the asset. With Bitcoin, though, Yusko believes the same strategy will not work. The institutions, such as BlackRock, won't be able to manipulate the market. According to Yusko, this strain on the demand and supply side of Bitcoin and the constant printing of paper currency will cause the Bitcoin price to increase. While that sounds like music to the ears of most hodlers, Yusko reminds the audience that at the end of the day, one Bitcoin is worth one Bitcoin. Let's listen to what Yusko has to say. Hypothetically, although this is not hypothetical because they got caught and they had to pay a billion dollars. Yeah. A billion. A billion dollars. JP Morgan paid one bit. Well, actually, it was 960 million, so it wasn't a billion. But right. let's call it a billion. Let's round to a billion. Fine for doing exactly this. They would short gold naked, which you're not supposed to be able to do, <clears throat> using futures. So there was no gold involved. They were just shorting paper to push the price down because if gold prices rise, people freak out. They're like, you're devaluing yeah. my currency. They didn't want the world to know they were devaluing the currency. So as they printed more dollars, the price of the gold started to rise. Right. So then the big bank said, no, 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 no. We need to put a tamper on that gold price. It's called spoofing. And so yeah. two years ago, they got caught and they paid this fine to the SEC, 960 million. Now, the funny part was they're like, well, yeah, but we made 20 billion doing it. Right. So it's just like a cost of doing business. It's 5%. Who cares? Now, yeah. in the Bitcoin world, that happened. So if you go back to 2021, we got all the way to 68, whatever it was, 68.5, which we just beat you know, last night. So 68.5, or maybe it was 68.3, doesn't matter. But yeah, so yeah. we got to the, the all-time high. Literally, on the day of the launch of these futures-backed ETFs, the price started down. We ended up going down 74%. Now, that wasn't all the banks shorting. It was people freaking out and people who had bought, you know, chasing, buying what they wish they would have bought, selling. But it, the key was the beginning of that was this paper manipulation. The difference this time, these are spot ETFs, meaning when BlackRock gets an order yep. or when Bitwise gets an order, Fidelity gets an order, they have to go find actual Bitcoin. Yes. They can't just buy futures contracts and pretend that they have Bitcoin. So what you're seeing in the last week is a mad scramble. Yes. Literally a mad mm. scramble for Bitcoin because in the first few days, actually first few weeks, every dollar that was coming in that BlackRock and Bitwise and Fidelity and Valkyrie had to buy, GBTC was selling because yes. they decided to keep their fee really high because this was actually reasonably smart. I don't like it, but it was reasonably smart. They're like, look, 
the vast majority of our investors in GBTC, the trust, bought in at much, much lower prices. So they bought in at five, eight, ten thousand dollar Bitcoin. Now we're at 30, 40, 50,000. Yep. If they sell to avoid the high fee to go into one of the low fee products, they're going to pay taxes. Way better to just pay the one and a half percent fee and defer the taxes. So that was actually a genius move on their part to keep the money train going because DCG has its own problems and Barry, you know, is being sued by the yeah. agency and all this good stuff. But that wasn't a bad, but the people who had it in a retirement account where taxes don't matter, they're like, I'm out. I'm going to transfer to Bitwise where I can pay zero for the first six months or to BlackRock where I can pay 20, I think 30 basis points. So yeah. that every day, 200 million, 400 million, 500 million was coming out and that was available to buy with the new inflows. Well, suddenly no one was selling GBTC and they still had to come up with, you know, on some days, 10,000 Bitcoin, there's only 900 yeah. created every day. So you had this massive supply demand imbalance. And the rumor was yesterday or the day before that the OTC desks basically they were, were dry. They just didn't have any Bitcoin to sell. See, that's the thing. <clears throat> it's not that there's no Bitcoin. There's lots of Bitcoin. You know, there's yeah. call it 15 odd million. You know, there've been 19 something million created and there's somewhere between three and five million that have been lost or stolen so there's 15 or 16 million bitcoin so there's plenty of bitcoin the problem is there's a whole bunch of them 65 odd percent that people have said at this price i'm not selling people say i won't sell or when should i sell bitcoin is a savings technology yeah it's a savings yeah. account it protects your wealth from the ravages of the stealth wealth tax of inflation. So yeah. when do you cash out your savings? Not every day. You don't cash out your savings to buy coffee. You don't cash out your savings to buy a shirt. You cash out your savings when you need to make a big investment or you need to make a big purchase like college or you know you want to fund a, reti a year's worth of retirement. And so the way Bitcoin is going to function is People are going to move their savings into Bitcoin. Yeah. It will continue to appreciate. And I use that term lightly because Bitcoin actually doesn't appreciate. It doesn't. Yeah, the dollar. One Bitcoin yeah, okay. is one Bitcoin. Right. It will always be yeah. one Bitcoin. It's like one ounce of gold is always one ounce of gold. You can't change it. It doesn't get bigger. The dollar or the yen or the euro or the renminbi, you know, Bitcoin's been making new highs in foreign currencies all week. You know, first it was this currency, then it was that currency. And it finally made a new high against the euro on Saturday or Sunday. And then yesterday it made a new high against the dollar. Well, what does that mean? It doesn't mean Bitcoin got better. It means those currencies got worse. To watch the full interview, check out the link in the description. What do you think of Mark's thoughts here? Do you think there's some ulterior motive or manipulation with BlackRock and Bitcoin? Leave a comment. If you found value in the content, hit the like button, as that greatly helps the channel find similar viewers like you. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest crypto news and commentary. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.